Hey, what's up? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to talk about Keisha Knight Pulliam and Ed Hartwell. Okay, so basically, in new uh, court documents that were submitted, Keisha is saying that uh, Ed is on that shit. No, nah, he's not on that shit, girl. Um, <laughs> she said that Ed is on oxycodone, antidepressants, and other prescription drugs. Now, I think all of this stems from the fact that, of course, he used to play football, which I can understand him having to still be on some of those drugs, um, prescription drugs. Um, he's in a new relationship. Um, Keisha wants uh, the court to inve not investigate, but I guess for lack of a better word, investigate the girlfriend um, just to make sure that she is a, a, a sane and safe person for her daughter to be around see, since he's in this new relationship. She really don't want the baby around the motherfucker in the first place. Um, that's why she's telling. That's why she's saying all this shit. He on that. He he got, he's taking all this shit. So, I mean, it, what she's saying is basically with him being on these drugs, he's not alert. He's drowsy during the day. Um, I think I even read somewhere that he also. Um, um, I think she said he had he would get angry sometimes or some shit like that. Um, this is what it comes down to. Keisha is no saint. I have been saying this for the longest. But at the end of the day, I completely understand if this is true, why she does not want her daughter around somebody like that. First of all, this is the same motherfucker who basically called her a whore. And to just take out the fact that he disrespected her. Baby, he said this not what he said this wasn't even his child. Now all of a sudden you want to turn around and see my daughter and say shit like, oh, I didn't even know she was happy. I didn't even know she had the baby. I had to find out on social media. Bitch. From what you said, this ain't your motherfucking child in the first place. So why the fuck you need to know she having a baby? I can let me just say something. I don't think because I have been saying I have been seeing people say that they think Keisha is jealous of the girlfriend and she shouldn't be like that. They grown now. They need, let me just say something. I don't have no motherfucking kids. I don't want no motherfucking kids. I don't have no motherfucking kids. But I can completely understand why people are protective over their motherfucking children. There are some crazy motherfuckers out there. There are some nasty motherfuckers out there. People will, people will be touching your kids and you don't even know it. People will do some of the shady shit to your children and you don't... Let me give you a motherfucking example. What? Ooh. Girl, I don't know if I should tell this story or not. Ooh, bitch. Okay, I'm going to tell it, girl. Ooh, I'm so messy. Okay, so my sister has a good friend. Her friend um, has a daughter with an NFL player. I did not have to say he was an NFL player. I just wanted to tell some of her business. So anyway, she has a daughter by an NFL player. Okay. Uh, the the daughter went to see the, to see the father one time. He, the daughter, from what I understand, always visits the father. The father was in a new relationship. Um, the daughter had braids. I believe the, the 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 father was going to take the daughter to get her hair rebraided. So the current girlfriend, you know, his new relationship, was going to take the braids out to get her hair ready for her hair appointment. This bitch going to start cutting the, hair, the daughter hair all the way at the top. Now, anybody knows. That if you don't know, if you're taking somebody's braids down and you don't know where the fuck the hair start, where, real, where they real hair start at, you start at the bottom. Bitch, I don't even do hair and I know this. Bitch, you start at the very bottom, at the very end. And you just unravel it. And then, of course, once you get past the first couple of braids, you know where that person's real hair starts. But even then, girl, some people, some people hair go like this. You just never know. This bitch, so this bitch done cut half of this girl her braids off before she finally realized that she was cutting her hair off. When I tell you my sister friend was so pissed off, she wanted to drag that hoe. I said, baby, she better than me because I, oof, I almost said that girl's name. Oof, Jesus. She better than, she better than, I'm like I told my sister, baby, your friend way better than me because, bitch, I would have grabbed one of the motherfucking braids she cut out of my daughter hair, wrapped that bitch around her neck and dragged that bitch in the Mississippi River and baptized that hoe. That hoe would have had me fucked up. She did that shit on purpose. Ain't no way that bitch didn't know that she and she didn't. And just like and just like my sister friend said, she should have been touching my motherfucking child's head in the first goddamn place. If you, you should, I could have took her braids out. As much money as you make, you should have just told the people who's braiding her how to take her braids out. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is you just don't know people. You know, 
No, everybody's not a child. No, everybody don't molest children. Everybody don't have bad intentions when it comes to your kids. But you just don't know until you get to know that person. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, child. Um, you just got to be careful. But like I said, I don't too much blame Keisha for not wanting to have this person or even Ed around her child. And girl, another, another thing. Girl. Girl, that's it, girl. I'm done. But anyways, I don't blame Keisha. Um, girl, fuck it. Girl, y'all need to start watching who y'all had these motherfucking kids with. This is the same nigga who said that she was a hoe and said this wasn't his child. And then he got up when he was, you know, he was bothered by the fact that he had to find out through social media that she had the baby. And... Girl, I'm so happy I ain't no woman. Because, baby, I would probably be in jail by now. Because the shit y'all be going through with these niggas. Because I ain't gonna lie. Some of y'all bitches is just dumb when y'all have babies and kids with these niggas. But some of these niggas do be selling y'all a dream. So I understand why a lot of y'all bitches be ready to slap the shit out of a nigga. Ready to run their ass over with a car. Because they tell y'all one thing. And then in nine months, the whole fucking flip script. And now you're doing, he doing and saying something else. So, oof. I'm not saying that's Keisha. But I'm just saying I understand how some of y'all women get so pissed off at these trifling ass sorry ass no good niggas some of y'all just dumb though cause some of y'all already knew them niggas was trifling and y'all still decided to lay down and have a baby with this trifling ass sorry ass nigga 